Sixteen. Number twenty or four should be twenty-two and a half. Twenty-two and a half. Five is the letter B. Five is the letter B. Six, one and two thirds. One and two thirds. Seven is six centimeters. Six centimeters. Eight is fifteen percent. Fifteen percent. Nine should be greater than nine is greater than and ten is one thousand to fourteen. One thousand fourteen. Eleven is two hundred sixteen dollars. Two hundred sixteen dollars. 12 is 175, 175, 13 is $7.91, seven dollars 91 cents. $14 14 is 902, 902, 15 is 750. 750. 16 is 4. 16 is 4. 17 is 3 tenths. 3 tenths. 18 is 0. 0. 19 is 73 cents. 73 cents. And please do not give these back to their owners, shall I say, and uh, let's try to keep the talking down to a minimal after I say the last answer here so we can answer questions and move on with the day. Number 20 should be 280, 280. Chloe. I need to, I Maisie. What's 11? Eleven should be two hundred sixteen dollars. Two hundred sixteen dollars. Oh. Hannah. What's nineteen? Nineteen is seventy-three cents. <coughs> seventy-three cents. Lincoln. I cannot find my uh, my test. Um, so I was wondering, um, maybe had 
Maybe will you <coughs> do you have it? Because last time I remember what you were grading. I thought I gave them all back though. What do you got, Annabelle? What was number eight? Number eight is 15%. Great. Uh, what was number 12 and 14? 12 is 175, 14 is 902. 902. Oscar. EJ, sorry. What was number 13? 13, $7.91. 7 dollars 91 cents Art? Number 15. 15 was 750. Chloe. I think I like your test. Uh, sure. Who am? What was three? Three. Two and three eighths. Two and three eighths. <laughs> Daisy. So number four, it takes one and two the bigger one. Is that so okay? That would be incorrect. Unless they can say what the directions say to do. Anna. Could be close, but I don't know why you would. We don't put zeros over. Egypt. What's number four? Four was 22 and a half. Melvin. Um, what's number 13? 13 was $7.91. Kevin. Yeah. Is this wrong? You put 16 and put 30 and For problem 16? I have four is my answer. Yes, yes. We don't ever say five. Penelope. Um, what, was number 15? what do you have? 75. 750. 750. Elena. Yeah, this is number eight. Eight, 15%. Perfect. Now, do me a favor, everyone stand up. Answering for the paper you graded, this is not how many you missed, this is how many was missed on the paper that you just graded. Sit down if the person whose paper you graded missed zero. Okay, so two people missed none. If they missed one, if they missed two, if they miss three, if they miss four, if they miss five, let's be good to them. Just check in to see if there should be some questions. Pass it back to their owners, please, so they can ask questions if they need. Yes, ma'am. No. Rory was what? Yes, it too. Rory was standing up to you. She doesn't know about it. Gotcha. Perfect. <laughs> So then, young fifth graders, looking at your paper, please make sure if you miss some, you know why you missed them. If you have a question, it's my job to, to talk you through what you missed. Now, please, if you missed the problem because they marked it wrong because they thought your seven looked like a four, please don't. I don't need to know that. All right, if it's something you don't understand, that's what I need to know. For some silly mistake. Again, I don't need to know, but if it's something you don't quite get why you got it wrong, that's why I'm here, Charlie. That's why I'm standing right here. Charlie. Yes, Charlie. I don't really get number two. Problem number two. Did you look at problem number one for problem number two? 
The directions say refer to this function table one and two. Here, if you had trouble with that fifth grade, please listen to me. Okay, this is this is all this is. You need to ask yourself with this little table, how did they go from the in number? Because that's what you're putting in, and the out number is what you're come taking out. In every one of these cases, they just cut them in half or divided by two. Okay, to go from two to one, you could say subtract one, but that doesn't work with six because six subtracting one doesn't give you three. So you have to go something else. The bottom numbers are half of the top number, so you divide by two. So for problem number two, if I were to put an eight in there and I cut eight in half, what do I get? Four. And that's where the number came from. Half of eight is four. Kirsten. I don't understand why that number eight uh, people had questions on number eight. That's a good question there. You have to remember that percent, ladies and gentlemen, what does percent mean? The word cent comes from the word a hundred. So percent means out of 100. So in a dollar, the nice thing about money, money is much easier to work with than just about anything because money is based on our tens and hundreds. There is 100 cents in a dollar. So if three nickels is how many cents? 15. 15. So it is 15 out of a hundred of a dollar, which makes it 15%. One cent is 1% of a dollar. A quarter is 25% of a dollar, or that's why we call it 25 cents or a quarter. You know, 75 cents is 75 percent of a dollar, etc., etc., etc. Elena. Thought so what was the value? Wow. Well. Well, well, I think we should petition the government to get rid of nickels because they're really not worth it. Yeah. 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 Any other questions, fifth grade? Penelope. Well, you'd have to show me your ruler in that thing, because that's a personal ruler thing. Can we take a look at it? Did you write it up and down, Annabelle? Yeah. And what is two fifths plus three fifths? And what is five fifths? Five fifths is the same as one. So did you borrow or carry that one over? No. The answer needs to be four. We don't say five fifths as a fraction because it is one. Does that help? Alright, let's see what we got here. Don't let me forget to give you a test note before you go.